Um, the plan was, um, you know, to uh, get Frank against the uh, fence and uh, Dirty Fox. Um, you know, I'm uh, kind of mean and aggressive there, and uh, we worked on that all camp, just getting him against the fence and, and beating him up and trying to take him into later rounds. And, and you know, that was just to drive him against the fence. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I, and I um, speak to it as like destiny. Brock and I were both national champions around the same time in wrestling, and we never got to meet in wrestling. And, you know, here we are 10 years later, and we finally get to meet. And uh, it's on a much uh, bigger stage, the best stage in the world. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just am uh, excited for it. And um, I, I'm elated tonight. And, um, you know, I just don't, it's hard to have words after uh, and feelings after a fight like that. Yeah, I mean, you can answer that question better than me. You're feeling I'm, good? Uh, I'm feeling, hell yeah, I'm feeling good. <laughs> not just good, I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, that's not going to make any, any changes for me. Um, you know, obviously the, the fans are behind Frank. He's a, he's a legend of the sport, and it was an honor to fight him tonight. And uh, I told him that after it. And, um, uh, you know, it, it's going to be an honor to fight Brock. He's the champion right now, and uh, I look forward to my opportunity. Um, you know, I, I find uh, the comments that Brock and Frank and those guys like that, I, I actually find them pretty comical and I laugh at them. I enjoy them as much as everybody else enjoys them. Um, you know, I, when I was on the college football field playing football and, uh, you know, there were a lot worse things said on that football field than, uh, you know, what you can say in the public's eye here. Uh, you know, I've, I've said this from the start, uh, this was made on uh, an intern championship before we knew the health of Brock and before he came back. And um, uh, it was probably a couple weeks later that he announced that he was going to be able to come back. So. You know, I was, ex I was excited that he was back, and, and the champ's back, and he's the champ, and he's right, he's over. there. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I was uh, definitely a little bit more nervous this time than uh, I tend to be, and it uh, could be, uh, you know, the year off that I've had, or I haven't been in the octagon. Um, you know, the other part is that uh, my wife had to stay home with our new daughter, and she's usually here with me all week, and makes me laugh, and keeps me pretty calm, and, uh, but, um, uh, you know, I felt confident in our game plan and what we worked on. And, and, you know, when I go in there, like I said, I go in there to destroy guys. I don't go in there to try to eke out decisions. Um, actually, the, the kind of the game plan for me was to be a little bit more relaxed and not rush things uh, like I have tended to do it in the past. And uh, I felt more fluid in there. Um, but, uh, you know, I think Frank was actually probably waiting for me to bull rush him like I've kind of done with my you know, prior opponents. So... Um, you know, I don't know if he was looking forward to the longer rounds that way or not, but, um, you know, just stick to the game plan. Uh, you know, I, I felt uh, really strong against him, uh, against the cage, and, 